It's Easter. I want to have some quick fun. So I'm going to start up a new part. Head over to the front view. We're going to make an Easter egg. We'll start with my center line. And my other planes. Make a quick spline sketch. Make my horizontal lines. Tangency. Tangency. Then I'm going to start giving this one size. Make this about 60 millimeters. About 2 inches, Rie. Now I'm going to try to shape this into an egg. That's, that looks like a very fat egg. Uh, that looks somewhat right, right? Let's find out. Give this a quick dimension. Mm, 25 millimeters? Okay, no, no, definitely not. <laughs> 50 millimeters. Make this a robust egg. Revolve. Uh, I'll fix that up in a bit. Change this egg up a little bit. Make it a little less fatter. Take away this dimension. That looks more like an egg. Woohoo! Bad egg. But an egg nonetheless. Actually, let me change one more thing about this. Let me give it a little bit of a rounder bottom. Just so it can stand a little bit more properly. Okay, great. Now, since we have now our egg shape, we're going to add some bubbles on this to give it some fun. Now, you guys can always make this into an actual snapping egg. And uh, let's actually do that. Let's actually make this snap. Let's go to right plane. What we're going to do here is that we're going to add another center line. Make an about looking kind of stair step here. Let's head over to the edge of it. And at this point, we're going to add a circle. And we just need one side of that circle. What we're going to do, we're going to revolve this. Oops, wrong tool. Revolve this with using surface. Insert features. Split. We split the egg in two with that. So now we got top side, bottom side, top side. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna grab one side. We're gonna go insert features. And we're gonna go to shell, shell. Cause we're gonna shell out an egg. Shell, make this about two millimeters, one millimeter. There you go, one millimeter size. We're gonna do the same exact thing to the opposite side. That's fine. Great. Now you have an egg. That we will snap in. Now if you guys wanna make a a little bit of a lower tolerance snap. What we're gonna do is insert face, move, 
might give us a little bit of a tolerance of about 0.1 millimeters. That way, no matter the accuracy of your printer, it should be able to come up with that pretty easily. Great. That looks beautiful. Love it. Now you can stuff your Benchy in here and it'll be great. We're going to save it. We're going to save it on the desktop. I already had an Easter egg. Let me just call this Easter egg shell. And then we're going to give it some texture. Some texture for some fun. What we're going to do first is that we're going to go to... Usually you'll see our appearance right here. And then under appearances, you have something called miscellaneous. Under miscellaneous is 3D textures. And this is an array of textures that you could give your model. For this one, I'm going to use a bubble pattern. I'm going to add it here. I'm going to go to the complete revolve. So this shape. And you see our, our texture doesn't look too good. So what we could do is that we could head over to our beach ball, our display manager over here. Go to the beach ball. Right click. Edit appearance. And then we go to advanced tools. Oops, sorry. We're going to head over to basic. Mapping. We're just going to have sphere on. And this sphere is going to give it a little bit of a better uh, a look on it. So we're going to press OK. And uh, right here you can do a couple other things. But we're just going to leave the default. So let's quickly save it. Because I'm pretty sure the next thing might crash my computer. But I don't think it's, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty OK part. So insert features. Actually, uh, we're going to go to another tool. And the way you get to this brand new tool is that you're going to right click. And then right here you're going to see 3D texture. So this 3D texture does is that it allows you to take that texture that you just split on it and it's going to give it actual body. So we're going to check mark here and then we're going to go, let's go to the smallest size and then you won't be able to see I got to change it to my. Oh, you still can't see it, but if I were to press OK, you can barely. Ah, there you go. You can barely see it, but you can see the little bumps it's going to create. So let's press OK. Uh, I'm going to go here. We're going to put about 60% refinement. So give it a minute. We're going to go to 60% refinement. To kind of refine those. This is what's going to bog down your computer. So uh, Give it as uh, much or as much as you think it needs. So this is going to give it about a pretty robust refinement. So I think that's all we need, especially if we're going to 3D print this. That's okay. Now you got your top side of your egg. Now you just got to do the same exact thing to your bottom. So right click, 3D texture, bubble. I'm going to go 60%. I'm going to scroll this bar away to the right. We're going to press okay. There we go. Now we got our two sides of the egg. We have our two graphics bodies. So we're able to export this out as an STL and uh, we'll have a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty decent looking egg to give our kids on Easter. So hope you guys liked the tutorial, the quick tutorial and uh, see you guys another time. Oh, let me give this thing a quick spin. Oh, it's a spinning top now. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm dizzy now. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will answer as a reply comment or as a short video between the courses that help out any others who probably have the same question as you. Feedback and video suggestions are appreciated and helps me to improve the design of the content for you all to better enjoy and learn. I also welcome you to join our Facebook group or our Discord. Links will be down in the description. Thank you for watching and all of you have my greatest respects for pursuing to learn new great things.